Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do some wooden earrings with kind of like a decoupage application. We're gonna use paper, but we're gonna layer it. So like on this set here, I'm gonna put the, uh, the green and blue stripe and then over that, I can't pick these up, is gonna go the flower. I'll have to trim that down a little bit, but that's gonna go over it. So I used my Sussex to cut these out, uh, the cutting machine. And this is a flower I used here. This one's gonna have the flower background with the overlay of this one. This one will have this kind of blue cheetah background with this overlay of this one. This one, and this is the cutter I used on this one. This one's the one I used on this one. <clears throat> the bigger ones I just cut out by hand. So these I just laid the wood onto the, the paper and I cut around it. So this one here, I'm gonna use the cheetah background and we're layering it with this leaf look. This is the one I used on that. This one, we're gonna do the blue and, I mean the purple and pink background. And this is the leaf that we're gonna put on top of that. So we're gonna make earrings out of all of this and then I'll probably finish them off with some resin. So let me get my uh, Mod Posh and I will be back. All right, so we're gonna do this one first. So we're just going to brush on some of our Mod Posh, Mod Posh. And I'm just gonna leave the back of these the natural wood. I'm not gonna paint them. Sometimes I do paint these when I'm doing this, but I'm not gonna do it on this set or this collection that I'm doing. Sorry, I just swiped my camera. <laughs> All right, and just make sure you're getting it all the way to the edges. And you just take your paper. And even though the edges might be a little bit, uh, a little bit off on these, what we will do in the end is take a, uh, a uh, file and we'll file around the edges. So it'll, it'll look okay. And then I'm just putting my Maj Podge on top of this. Mod, I always say Maj, it's Mod, Mod Podge, Mod Podge. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm from Texas, as you can probably tell by the, by the accent. Do the same thing on this one. And this is uh, the paper that I'm using is, um, it's kind of like, uh, you can buy it at Hobby Lobby and it comes like in um, a booklet. It's kind of like cardstock. So it's a little bit heavier. Just gonna place our flowers on top of that. And 
The same with these, once the, the Mod Podge dries, I'll trim off the edges. And then I'll poke the, uh, the hole through also. So basically, this is just giving us a little bit of a, a layered look for some really cute earrings. And I'll probably do uh, two coats of this. And then once it dries good, I will come back and seal the whole, uh, the whole earring and the resin. Just gives it a nice, uh, gives it a nice finish and it seals it so that uh, everything is, will last a little bit longer. All right, we're gonna let those dry. We'll move on to the next ones. We'll do these. And once I've done a couple of these, I'll probably uh, fast forward because it's the basic, the same, same technique on every single pair. So nothing different that you're just putting the Mod, Mod Podge on and then you're putting your paper on and then you're putting your layer on. these I just took my cardstock and I laid the the wood over it and I cut around it
All right, so we're gonna do this on these other three pairs. I won't do it on camera. And then once they dry, we're gonna come back and put the holes in them. And then we'll cover them with some resin. So we'll be back shortly. Okay, so I've got the uh, the uh, Mod Podge on everything, and these, you can see it's still wet. We're letting it dry. And then once it's dry, we'll come back, poke the holes in it, and then we're going to finish it off with the uh, UV resin. So we're gonna let these dry, and we'll be back shortly. Okay, guys, I've got the resin on them. They're all resin on both sides. I did get a little bit of air bubbles in there. But they're resin on both sides. Let me come down and give you a close-up. Alright, so now I'm going to put the uh, earring holders on them. And we will come back in just a minute and show you the finished product. Okay, so here are the finished product. I'll get in a little closer. If you did like this video, if you give me a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel. And if you hit that little red bell, it will notify you when I upload the next video. I think these turned out really, really, really cute.